Hello everyone. Welcome to a BJC past paper review. Today we're doing a general science paper. But before I go into the details, what I want you to always remember to do is to write your school number, your candidate number, your initials, and your surname. Very important for you to write those. And now let us go into a little bit more. Um, again, we're doing this review for general science. It is a multiple choice paper, which is a paper one. And this is from the year 2019. Now let's go into the first question. And as you go through, please remember as well to read through the instructions carefully and also follow the instructions given to you by the examiner. Now for our first question, it reads that which type of human cell transports oxygen around the body? Now, first and foremost, um, I want you to make note of these um, cells. And here A is red blood cells, and that will be our um, answer. The red blood cells, they transport oxygen around the body. Um, B will be neurons, and to be specific, these are motor neurons, okay? So these are motor neurons. Why? Because the cell body is at the end. Here we have a smooth muscle. All right, and these will be sperm cells. All right, great. So again, our answer for question number one will be A, because they are responsible to transport substances around the body. All right, let me just move this out of the way. All right, so these are red blood cells here, and this is our answer. All right, great. So now let's jump to the next question. And for question number two, it reads that which plant cell opens and closes to allow water and carbon dioxide in and out of a leaf, and that will be our guard cells. All right, the so guard cells will control the opening and closing of those leaf pores, and those leaf pores, we call them stomata. Now, the palisade is where photosynthesis will take place, and that's the upper layer inside of the leaf itself. The root ear cell responsible to absorb water, and the xylem vessel will transport water throughout the plant. Now, for question number three, it said a substance found in plant cells, but not in animal cells, is... And this will be cellulose. Okay, remember cellulose in plants. Starch is also in plants as well. All right. Now let's go to number four. Well, question number four is so which one is a mollusk and that is found in the Bahamian waters? And so our conch is the mollusk. The crab is a crustacean. The lobster is also a crustacean as well. All right, they're also arthropods in terms of the phylum. Fish is chordata phylum, and class is fish. All right, so you could just make a note of that. All right, so let's go to the next question. Question number five. It said, identify the food that is not a good port and not a good protein source. And so if you look through the list, I'm not sure if you can identify them properly, but we have eggs. We have um, peanuts, we have potato, and we have piece of meat. So potato is carbohydrate. It is starchy. So please remember, anything that is sugar or starch belongs um, to carbohydrates. But you can get um, meat. Um, all the meat will, con will give you protein. Nuts and grains will also give you some level of proteins as well. Number six. He said, which are the best sources of calcium? And so when you think about calcium here, um, you're thinking about your milk and your dairy products. So number six is D. All right, number seven. He said, Dennis bought a chicken um, snack from Bamboo Shack for, for Maria. The paper bag had grease stain on it. 
And then a question he asked, though, he said, um, that have grease stain on it. He said, which food nutrient caused the stain? So which food nutrient caused the stain? Let me just zoom in a little bit more so you could see. Okay, so which food nutrient caused the stain? And this here is fats. So once you see oil or grease, then you know that is what? Fats. All right. So that is a uh, easy one. I'm sure it is easy for you. Now, number eight is a, a diet rich in carbohydrates and sugar can result in which of the following? And please remember that sugar is a carbohydrate. Okay. And so once you have sugar or carbohydrates in your body, especially complex um, carbohydrates, starchy stuff, then you will lead to diabetes. Also, please note that anemia is lack of iron. All right, so number nine. Which do we call substances which affect the rate of chemical digestion? So the, the name of those chemicals that will change the rate of chemical reaction in your body is called enzymes. The enzymes generally will speed up our chemical reaction take place inside of our bodies. And point to note is that enzymes are very important in terms of digestion of food substances. All right, so let's go to question number 10. And question number 10 um, reads, is that, say, um, Casey, um, Casey had a slice of mushroom pizza containing 258 calories for lunch. Danny chose the barbecued chicken slice with 386 calories. How many calories more did Danny consume? So to write this out, all you need to do is to get the difference between these numbers. So you'll say 386 minus 258, and that will give you um, your 128. Okay, so that's to give you 128. So 128 will be our answer right here. All right, great. Now, let's go to question number 11. And question number 11 reads, it said, where in the human body does mechanical digestion begins? And remember that includes chewing, so that is in your mouth. All right. Number 12, which process in digestion squeezes the muscle of the esophagus, forcing food downwards? And once food is moving down the esophagus, then we know that is peristalsis. And again, peristalsis is defined as the wave-like movement of the muscles. All right. And so once that wave-like movement is, is happening um, to the muscles, causing a relaxation and a contraction of the muscles, pushing food downwards, then you know that is peristalsis. And the most famous place that occurs is in the, is in the esophagus. It also takes place in the intestines as well, large and small. All right, great. All right, so let's go to number 13. In question number 13, it says, which of the following is the correct equation for photosynthesis? What I want you to remember is that for photosynthesis to take place, um, plants and also plant-like organisms will take in carbon dioxide, water, all right, and that will take place in the presence of sunlight. And so we see water with this H2 plus carbon dioxide with the CO2. It will give you oxygen and glucose. So B will be our correct answer. All right, let's go to question number 14. And in question number 14, so which of the following is a mixture? All right, first and foremost, let me point this out real quick for you, right? Now, a mixture, we're looking here for a mixture, which means two different things together. So in option A here, this is a pure substance. It could be element. All right, D is also a pure substance. Why pure? Because it only contains one thing. Now let's look at B and C. What's the difference between B and C? Notice in B, the two things are connecting. So this could be representing a compound. So let's put compound right there because it could be two different elements combined. So in C now, they are together, but they're not joined together. Okay, so this will be the mixture. Okay. All right, so great. So um, C, option C will be our answer there. So this will be our answer. Option, um, 
Let's pull this a little bit down. All right, so I could highlight this for you. All right, so C will be the option here. All right, so question number 15. And in question number 15, it reads that what is the chemical formula for sodium chloride? And sodium chloride is NaCl, okay? Sodium is Na, chlorine is Cl. So sodium chloride together, that is NaCl. Now, number 16, it says which of the following is a suspension? And a suspension is when you see solid particles um, settling to the bottom of the mixture. And so if you think about coffee, you'll not see anything um, settling, only the same thing. Um, milk, the same thing. And so um, I'm going to kind of label them for you so you know what is what. So the answer here will be D, the salad dressing. Um, so let me quickly label what are these. So a coffee will be like a solution, okay? So coffee will be solution. It is uniform throughout. Honey is also um, a solution. All right, so it'll be uniform throughout. But milk is what they call a colloid. So milk is a colloid. All right, and again, um, the, just, the, the solid dressing will be our suspension. You could see solid particles settling in that mixture. All right, so let's go to question number 17. And in question number 17, which, it, which reads that which method would be better to separate a mixture of alcohol and water? Now, first and foremost, I want to tell you that um, alcohol and water, the, the, the boiling point, pretty much close, all right, but alcohol will evaporate before water. So the process is best to use with this one is actually distillation. In fact, the best, actually, the best actual method is actually fractional distillation, but since they have distillation here, it works, okay? All right, that's, but, the, but that's generalizing. But the specific one is fractional distillation. I'm going to put it right here for you, right? So just in case you may see the two fractional, um, you see the two distillation, which is simple and fractional, they know fractional distillation will be the best answer, okay? So I just want to put that in there. All right, great. All right, so 17 is B. Now 18 is so which of the following is a solution? And a solution is when... The mixture is uniform throughout, is homogeneous. And so, again, um, 18, as I mentioned before, that um, coffee will be um, a solution. Okay. All right. So, oil and water, they do not mix. Okay. So, they, so, so those, they are immiscible liquids. Salad dressing, as we established, that will be a suspension. All right. And peanut butter will be a colloid. All right. Number uh, 19 it says, which of the following provides energy for a food chain? So notice it, providing energy for the food chain. Now, the sun is providing the energy for the food chain, but I want to make something clear right here that grass or plants, which are producers, they start the food chain. So within the food chain, the first thing that is providing the energy is the producer, which is the grass. But you read the question again, it says, which of the following provides energy for for a food chain and sun is what providing the energy for the food chain because the producer which is the grass or plants will use the sun energy to make glucose all right just to point that out all right so number 20 which is halfway through for this question reads it's a student found a rusty quarter on the ground it said what type of change has happened to the quarter now, once you see rust, it is a chemical reaction, okay? It is a chemical reaction because it would be hard to go back to its natural state, all right? Or you may say it's hard to be reversed. Now, 21, it said, which of the following um, baby and animal is protected by a closed season? And a closed season here is the crayfish. So the crayfish is protected by a closed season. Let's highlight uh, like that. All right. All right. But um, there's a point to note that the Bahamian parrot um, and also the Bahama parrot and the turtle, they are endangered. All right. And so you cannot capture those. Okay. Just to make a point to that. 
And what the word endangered mean, that mean they are close to extinction. That mean they are so threatened that they only have a small population remaining. All right, and so you are not able to catch them by law. So they are protected by law, but there is no close season. All right, question number 22. And question number 22 um, reads, which of the following is an endangered species? And this is the rock iguana. It's a very low population. And so if you're not careful, they can go into extinction. All right, question number 23. It said, which of the following has wavelengths longer than wavelengths of visible light? And this one will be our radio waves. Uh, what I'm going to do for you now, I'm going to kind of list them in order. Um, the, the wave of the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, and so you'll see which one is first. So the one that is smallest um, to, the, to the largest, I'm going from smallest to largest. And so gamma will be the smallest one, so gamma rays. All right, after gamma rays, we will have um, X-rays. Okay, so gamma rays and X-rays. All right. And then um, we will have... Uh, Let's say X-rays. Then we will have here our UV. So we have UV, which is um, ultraviolet. So this is ultraviolet light. All right. And then the next one on the list will be visible light. And then we have infrared. And again, I'm going from the shortest wavelength to the longest wavelength, okay? So infrared. And then we will have here our radio waves. So radio waves, they have the longest um, wavelengths. So if you go back to the question, so which has a wavelength um, longer than visible light, and this is um, infrared is not given in the, quest in the statement question, so the next one on the list there will be radio waves. Okay, but infrared and radio waves, they, they have longer wavelengths than visible light. All right, let's go to the next question. Now, question number 24, it reads that which organism is a tertiary consumer? And so we have grass, we have grasshopper, we have the shrew, and we have the hole. Now, um, so first thing, I want to make a note right here in terms of consumer. Consumer starts at the grasshopper, okay? So, so firstly, um, the first consumer will be the grasshopper. The second consumer will be the sure. And then the old will be our tertiary consumer. So therefore, our tertiary consumer here will be the old. Okay, the plant is the producer. So it's not a consumer. Consumer starts after. And just a point to note again, grasshopper is a herbivore. Okay. And the rest will be carnivore. All right. Because a food chain does not show any omnivore. Just to make a point. All right. 25. Which acts now. So 25 reads here. Um, it said <coughs> metals expands. Um, metals expand when eaten. What happened? What happened um, to them when cooled? So when metals cool, they will contract. Okay, so they will expand when heated, and when they're cool, they will contract. All right. Next point here. Next question. He said, which shape correctly illustrate the path in which light travels? And first, to note that light travels in a straight line. Light travels in a straight line. So therefore, 26 is B. Okay, line don't bend, bend like that. No, they go in a straight line. Okay. All right, so question number 27. It said, use the pictures to complete question 27, 28, and 29. All right, and so let's go to the first question, which is question number 27 that is relating to this, um, these pictures. It said, which pictures shows objects that are translucent and translucent it means that you cannot see through them properly you may see through them partially but not fully so if you look on the objects um, carefully um, picture four you can see the person behind the, the 
I you said it's probably a stained glass, but you can see the person partially behind the behind this um object. In three, these are bottles looking containing oil or something. Maybe they could be empty, but you cannot see through them properly. All right, and so you're looking for four and three to be translucent, and so twenty-seven will be D because number three, picture three and picture four, they are translucent. Now for twenty-eight. So which pictures shows um, which pictures show transparent objects? And when you say transparent, you mean you can see through them. Okay, so go back through this. This is a container with probably a lid on it, so you can see the stuff in the container. And then the wine glass, you can actually see through them. And so looking for two and six to be transparent. So let's look at transparent two and six. And so 28 here is C. Now, question number 29, it asks, which picture shows opaque objects? And opaque objects are, object, are objects that you cannot see through. And so if you look at um, the spoon and the tree, you cannot see through those. So one and five will be our opaque objects. So one and five, which is B for 29. Okay, great. Now, number 30, it said in... In a desert, a lion stalks and kills another animal for food. What term describe what what term describes the lion? And so the lion is eating meat, it's eating another animal, so therefore it is a carnivore. Remember, um, carnivores they eat meat. Okay, so let's just put in some information right here. So carnivores, carnivore uh, eats meat. Just to make a note. For for decomposers, decomposers they, they 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 will feed on um dead organic materials and break them down. All right, um herbivores eat plants only. Okay, so herbivore eats um plants. Okay, all right, and so omnivores omnivores now eat both plants and animals. Okay. So, so eat both plants and animals. And or you can say eat both plants and meat. Okay. Uh, let's put meat all uh, right quickly. All right, so we have that. So those are the way we describe those organisms. Now question number 31. And question number 31. Oh, I'm going too far. A little bit go back up. All right, so question number 31 is which of the following is a correct food chain? And so if you look at option A, it say a B, a B cannot start a food chain. You must start with a plant, which is a producer. So um, so A and C, they are out. And so option B could be possible. And then D, start the grass, so it could be possible. But let's look at the difference between B and um, D. And so corn and human, that's correct because um, human beings, uh, we can eat corn. In option D, grass and lion. Lion do not eat grass. Lion, as we established, they are carnivores. Okay, so option B here will be our correct answer for this one. Now, question number thirty-two. It said sound waves cannot travel in what, and sound sound need a medium to travel, so sound cannot be heard in a vacuum. All right, we cannot sound cannot travel through a vacuum. Sound needs a medium okay and matter of fact you prefer solid objects because they move they move through solid even better by vibration all right 33 is it which letter shows the correct wavelength for the sound created by a speaker so on our left we have the speaker here and the actually which is the correct wavelength is a b c or d but let me quickly tell you what wavelength a wavelength is. A wavelength is simply two equal points on a wave. So once you can identify two equal points on that wave, then that will be your wavelength. So in this case, option D will be our wavelength because it's two exact equal points. Okay. Now let's move to our next question, which is question number 34. So what do we call the total energy of all particles in a material? And notice it said all particles within it. 
And so if you look at option A, kinetic energy is not because kinetic energy deals with motion. So once you see kinetic energy, you talk about what? Motion. Potential energy is about height or position. So the higher you go, the higher something is, is the more potential energy it has. And temperature is just the measure of how hot or, some, hot or cold something is. So our correct answer right here is 34. Is D. The 34 is D. All right. So which is thermal energy because particles do have thermal energy in them. They could be cold, they could be hot, but they always have um, a degree of coldness or hotness inside of them. All right. So 35 and we're almost there. He said, which material would be the best insulator for the handle of a cooking tool to be used when grilling food um, over a fire? And so here, uh, metal is not good because the metal will get hot real quick and cause burning. Um, the paper, no, absolutely, that will catch fire. Plastic could melt, but the best one here would be hood. Okay. All right, so 36. It said the temperature at which a liquid becomes a gas, a liquid becomes a gas, is what? And this is the boiling point. Because remember, the liquid must boil before it turns the gas. Okay? Condensation is when it is cooling and moving from gas into liquid, so the temperature actually drops. Freezing point pretty much is when the liquid becoming solid, and that's a very, very um, cool temperature, especially if we're talking about water. All right? All right, and sublimation is when it converts from solid into gas directly without going to the liquid state. All right, so for um, question number 37 now. The question number 37 said, how do current, currents um, transfer heat in the ocean? So once you talk about fluid, whether it be gas or liquid, then the way that, that heat is being transferred throughout the liquid or throughout the fluid is convection so 37 here will be b all right now question number 38 it said in in a house in a house there are four lights um connected in a circuit as shown in a diagram in the showing a diagram it said where would you put a switch that would turn all the lights off so to con disconnect all the lights first you need to think about this right um what will stop the flow of the current throughout this thing? If you take off, let's, let's start with, with, with A, a matter of fact. If you close A, then the current will stop flow through everything. So A will be your answer. But let's look at B. If Let's say leave A and look at B. If you take off B, then this light bulb here in the first one, this one could still be on. The others will be off. Okay. And again, take off C, it only affect um, one light bulb. Take off D, it only affect, f affect one light bulb. But A affects everything, okay? All right, so let's go to question 39. And it said, how is a shadow caused? And a shadow is caused simply if you stand in front of a light, you will see shadow in front of you, right? So a shadow is caused when light blocked by an object. All right, so the question number 40, which is the last question. And it reads, it says, which process is used for treating and handling food to slow down spoilage? And this is any method of preservation. We preserve the food so it could stay longer without any form of spoilage. All right, so this is where we end um, for this session. And I will be back with more reviews. So see you next time. Keep safe until then.